introduces us to the resident artist of Possum Bend. ...are hidden from view. Case in point, Possum Bend, Alabama. That's where a 90-year-old painter has been drawing on his experience rather than any formal training. CNN's Larry Woods takes us across America. The big rigs hauling pulpwood to nearby factories roar through Possum Bend, Alabama with hurried indifference. They dash right by the Hamlet's half-century-old grocery store, pass an occasional poop napping in the rich South Alabama soil. Inside the store, a vendor refills the machines with a variety of soft drinks, and new manager Larry Colston chats with a local salesman making a pitch to keep the shelves fully supplied. Stock it and hope they will come, says Colston. Be ready if they do. But Possum Bend is not necessarily one of those little spots by the road where you'd be inclined to stop. But maybe you should. You see, there's a lot of history here, and an old-timer who's helped to shape it. That would be 90-year-old William Peyton Harris, backwoods philosopher, country squire, all-around handyman, and artist. He paints almost daily in a cluttered makeshift studio behind the small grocery store he's owned for 50 years, but now leases to Larry Colston. Harris went off to college in 1927 to refine his talent, but gave up and came back to Wilcox County. Well, I took one year at Auburn and applied art, and it wasn't worth a continental dam. It didn't do me a bit of good. His time at the easel, as he and his son Billy both agree, also helps him cope with the recent loss of his wife, Lois. They were married 60 years. What's the best piece of work you've ever done? I have no idea. I really don't. How do people find out about your art? I don't know where they find out yet or not. Need the light in here? For art lovers who have stopped by the Possum Bend Gallery to view Squire Harris's craftsmanship, there has been surprise and delight. Given his rustic tools, dilapidated workspace, and paucity of formal training, the eye acknowledges the old man's hand and heart have done their very best. And his brush has conspired with days of his youth to recall the old South and things gone with the wind. I don't know why, but it inspires me better than any subject was that in my life than the old South. I can remember it. All that kind of experience, it stays with you. So does the character in the face of a long-ago friend and the mystery of the forest, untamed, majestic, and elusive. Harris's workshop, where he makes frames for his paintings, has that look of antiquity, too. You bought this when you were in your teens? Yeah. Oh, you can't get parts for it anymore, though, Oh, my you? God, no. <laughs> All right. Mm. In the autumn of his years, William Harris finds no time to ponder what might have been. It's today and tomorrow that consumes him, that and knowing he's lived a good life. I'm a fond believer in what you put out, and he's able to come back. Either way, he will, you know, I always try to do the right thing as far as I can. Next time you're down South Alabama way, ask for the man from Possum Bend. Hopefully, he'll be where he's always been. Larry Woods across America in Wilcox County, Alabama. And that's the world today. Next on Larry King Live, former attorney for Monica. Captioning provided by 1-800-U-